What is torque? How is it defined? And how is it used? Well, torque is the rotational force. It's the amount of push or pull in rotation. Now, torque is defined as the force times the perpendicular distance from the application of the force to the axis of rotation. So, for example, if I have something like this, and it's, you can see it's pivoted right here, so this is the rotation axis, and if I apply my force here, well, this distance is R perpendicular. That is the distance from the rotation axis to the application of the force. Now you can try this at home, but if I push here, I have to push down with a lot more force to get it to rotate than if I push here. Here it's very easy. And of course the reason for that is my R perpendicular is large here, therefore I'm getting a large torque, whereas here my R perpendicular is small, and therefore I get a small torque, which means it's harder to rotate, so I have to increase my force to get the same torque. And of course, if I push down here, right on the rotation axis, no matter how hard I push, there is no rotation because our perpendicular is zero. Um, one other example is what about if you're at an angle? So say, for example, well, let's just make a wall here, and let's put something up like this and say it's pivoted right here. Well, we can add some numbers. Let's say this is uh, five meters, um, and we'll say this distance here is three meters, that distance there is four meters. Well, if I hang something here, with some mass m, and I want to know, what's the torque from this mass? Well, the torque from that mass is just the force of gravity times the perpendicular distance. So it's mg multiplied by 3 meters. Not 5, 3 meters, because this distance here, from the application of the force to the rotation axis, because it's going to rotate like this, so this is our rotation axis, well, that makes a right angle, so this is our R perpendicular, so it's times 3 meters. Now, a couple other examples. Well, for a lot of times, these rods have mass. Don't forget the force of gravity acts right at the center of mass, and therefore, the perpendicular distance for that guy, well, that's going to be half of the above, so that's 1.5 meters. So, call this guy the torque 2, and that's for the, the center of mass here. And so that would just be the mass of the rod, call this m2, make that m1, times 1.5 meters. Now, if I wanted to um, attach a string here, uh, we could put it, oh, let's just put it right here, for example. Well, we'll put it right at the center of mass. Let's say there's a string. I'm going to hold it up at it. Well, the string has a tension force in that direction. So the direction of the force is this way. So now the perpendicular distance that I'm interested in is this distance here. And that would be uh, 2 meters. So the, the, call that torque 3. So the torque from the string would be the tension force multiplied by 2 meters. This is how you find torque, and then you can use this with Newton's second law for rotation to solve all kinds of problems in rotation.